Psalm 18. Yes. We're moving along quickly, guys. Fine, <laughs> <laughs> <So, laughs> quickly. Yeah, yeah. And, and of course, we all agree that everything in Psalms and, and in, the, in the Bible uh, we consider to be special, right? Amen. But there's a point that's, that's being made that this particular Psalm is very special. It's so special that we find it in more than just one spot. Mm -hmm. It shows up in uh, 2 Samuel 22, and it shows up as well in Psalm 116. Mm -hmm. uh, and it, it's, it's a part of, uh, of revealing, not in specific detail, but in action, the life of David. Mm -hmm. And this study uh, reveals for us uh, six things. Verses 1 through 3 talks about God is a rock for David. Verses 4 through 6, David asks for help. Sometimes when you, you know, the rock can be your everything, but you still need a little help. Right? Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. 7 through 19, God answers David. 20 through 27, God gives help to people is demonstrated there. Verses 28 through 42, everything that David owns, he makes it known that it comes from God. Amen. 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 And he, he's just not done that one time, has he? He's done that throughout our study. Amen. You, you know, you, you almost get weighted down by the expressions of how much David loves God, right? Because it, it, it doesn't end. And then verses 40 through, through 43 through 50, God made David king. And so Psalm 18 is, is sort of a blending of, uh, of worship and witness by David. And, and as we get into it and, and you begin to think about it, you, you can see that it's instructions about what God can and will do for you if you do two things. One is trust, and what is the other? Obey. 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 Yeah. Obey. I mean, and, and, and that's a natural tie, isn't it? If you trust something, why wouldn't you obey? Mm -hmm. <laughs> something is better than sacrifice, isn't it? Amen. Yes. Yeah. What is that? Obedience. 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 The psalm, uh, one commentator said, was written and given to the chief musician by David. Uh, because it was his private composition that he wanted to share. Quote was that not only was David wanting to allow others to borrow his light, okay, his understanding, but he also wanted them to uh, get the heat from his fire. All right. Isn't that great? Mm -hmm. That's a sermon right there. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. <laughs> He wanted them to borrow his light, unselfish about it, the fact that his relationship with God and all of the things that he's receiving, he wasn't just interested in it for himself. And he wanted you to feel the heat from what comes out of that kind of a relationship. Mm -hmm. You know, it's loving somebody unto madness. Yeah. <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. And so uh, the commentator says that it's an example that sometimes uh, a life example is better than any rule book. Mm -hmm. You know, because when you hear someone else, or, or even when we are talking to young people and we try to lay down 
exactly what they're going to experience if they continue down a certain path. It's hard for them to see it. Amen. Mm -hmm. But it's better than going buying a book of, from Op of Oprah that has written up the same thing you're telling them. Oh. <laughs> and and uh, and and think something's going to happen when you're telling them exactly. I'm giving you. I lived it. I am the example. You know, I, I yes, think sir. that goes along with the statement that you talk to people mm -hmm. sometimes, or you talk to people sometimes, and you're telling them from your experience what could possibly happen in the direction they're going. Yeah. And they look at you and say, well, you know, that, that's what happened to you. You know, I, let me experience myself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, my the statement is, yeah. God bless you. Go ahead. Yeah, right. <laughs> 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 you had to hit, yo. You only had to hit the rock itself. <laughs> right. <laughs> sometimes that's the best teacher. Yeah. Some, sometimes it is. My grandfather used to say, and the school of hard knocks upon you. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. That's it. That's, that's it. it. <laughs> but, but David was, his example was what? I mean, he. he He's the king of the nation, right? Yeah. And what does he say? I mean, even in the introduction of it, it says that uh, for the director of music of David, the servant. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. servant. David said, my example is, you look at me as king, but I'm really a lowly servant. Mm -hmm. That's an awesome example, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. He's saying when it comes to God, no, no, no. I'm lining up in that, in that line of service. Mm -hmm. yeah. Servant of the Lord. Amen. And so, as we get into the book on page 75, Rick, you never got a book. I never got a book, but that's okay. Okay. Uh, they're, they're at, yeah. uh, we don't have any uh, additional ones, but okay. they're, they're at the bookstore. Okay. Yeah. Just... And uh, the whole series of. Okay. We'll be on it for a while, so you. Yeah. <laughs> no rush. <laughs> right. No rush. It's been okay. It's 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 <laughs> and to sort of, that's right. To sort of stay in line with the, with the author, we're going to focus on the, item, the first item, which is uh, God delivers when we call on Him. And, and we're going to read and uh, we're going to read in big chunks today. Thank you. So somebody uh, needs to read verses one through eighteen. And then we'll go back and count the okay. mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's a big chunk. Okay. That's a chunk. I love you, Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer. My God is my rock, in whom I take refuge, my shield, and the horn of salvation, my stronghold. I call to the Lord, who is worthy of praise, and I have been saved from my enemies. The cords of death entangled me. The torrents of destruction overwhelmed me. The cords of the grave coiled around me. The snares of death comforted me. In my distress, I called to the Lord. I cried to my God for help. From his temple, he heard my voice. My cry came before him into his ears. The earth trembled and quaked, and the foundations of the mountain shook. They trembled because he was angry. Smoke rose from his nostrils. Consuming fire came from his mouth. Burning coals blazed out of it. He parted the heavens and came down. Dark clouds were under his feet. He mounted the cherubim and flew. He soared on the wings of the wind. He made darkness his covering, his canopy around him. The dark rain clouds of the sky. Out of the brightness of his presence, clouds advanced with hailstones and bolts of lightning. The Lord thundered from heaven. The voice of the Most High resounded. He shot his arrows and scattered the enemy. With great bolts of lightning, he routed them. The valleys of the sea were exposed, and the foundations of the earth laid bare at your rebuke, Lord, at the blast of breath from his nostrils. He reached down from on high and took hold of me. 
He drew me out of deep waters. He rescued me from my powerful enemy, from my foes who were too strong for me. <coughs> they comforted me, confronted me in the day of my disaster. But the Lord was my support. Amen. My goodness. Praise the Lord. That's powerful. Yeah, powerful. Yeah. That's powerful. Yeah. It's uh, now remember that this is this is David's personal composition. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's heavy. Huh? That's heavy. Yeah. I mean, he's taking talk about word pictures. Mm -hmm. He's painting a picture for us. Isn't he? Visuals. And, and in fact, the, uh, he's wanting to describe the importance of the help that he got from God. Yeah. He, he, he's saying that God helped me, and I want to present it to you in, in frankly, three ways. Yeah. Verse 1, what does he say? I love you. I love you. Yeah. He said, you know, I want to present this to you out of my love for him. Yeah. Second thing is, verse 2 talks about his faith. Mm -hmm. Natural flow in love to faith. And the third thing is, verse 3 is his hope. Am I right about it? Mm -hmm. His hope. David's love of God. David understood what the greatest commandment was. And Jesus told, it says, you shall have what? No other God before me. I mean, that, that's, that's laying it right out there, isn't it? Amen. And Jesus reminded us of that in Matthew 22, 37. It says, you shall love the Lord, your God, with all what? Your heart. And with all your soul. And with all your mind. Which, which could also be translated, your mind. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I guess that's what David is really saying. Uh, he is just saying that casual, I love you. Mm -hmm. But he's saying that God is his everything. Yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a depth of love that you can't explain. I mean, you know, uh, your first love. You know, it's, it's, it's a depth of, in the human sense. It's a depth of love that you just, I mean, you just go... Out of your mind about when it doesn't last, right? <laughs> <laughs> on, on, on the wrong side. <laughs> you know, you've been still in love and the person <laughs> not reciprocating anymore? <laughs> love sick. Love sick. But isn't it great that we love a God that you never have to worry about that? Amen. Amen. In spite of us. In spite of you. In spite of us. Yeah. <clears throat> oh yeah, oh yeah. All that ugliness and dirtiness that you you survived, he just completely disregarded. That's true. Love. love you anyway. In fact, he was loving you while you were going through it. But mm -hmm. yeah. before you went through it, after you go through it, when yeah, you through it, that's right. right. I don't know about y'all, but I've been to some dark places. Mm. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, Lord. Man, huh? Been there and done that? And bodies buried all over the place. I'm telling you. And, 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 and you, know how, you know how to appreciate it now, right? That's right. That's right. Yeah? Yeah, I mean, we're not glorifying that kind of stuff. We're no. just telling you. That's the way it's it is. It's testimony. It's the truth. Right? I mean, the only thing shame the devil is when you yeah. say it in his face, look, you had me, but you ain't got me no more. Amen. I went back to Texas and you ain't got me no more. <laughs> I mean, that's a wonderful place to be. David is there, isn't he? David believed that God was all he needed and could ever want in whatever situation he was in. Didn't matter. What did he call God? 
in verse rock. Huh? Rock. 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 What, what is it? What, what is it? What, what does that say? Solid, solid rock. Yeah, that, that, we yeah, wrote a song about that. Yeah, yeah. solid as rock. <laughs> Strength and stability. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Call him a rock. He is a rock. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Rock. Yes. Rock. Yes. Yes. In a weary land. That's right. And, and we talk about the images, David painting images, right? He's saying, uh, when I needed help, God led him where? To the mountains, didn't he? Oh, yeah, right. Led him right there. To the rock. The rock. Mm -hmm. Now, th think about what that must have done to David. Yeah. Talk, okay, talk about getting, getting yourself in position to always be mindful of God. What do you think he thought about every time he saw a rock? Immovable. Oh, he's strength. thinking about God, right? Yeah. Yeah. And you know, that area of, of Israel, is, you guys been there, right? It's a pretty mountainous city. Oh, yeah. There are a few rocks around. Right? Stony. Mm -hmm. So, so as, as a part of his testimony and his worship of God, every time he saw a rock, rocks were a reflection of, to David of God providing strength. Protection. Yep, protection. Support. Support. Shelter, yeah. Shelter. Yeah. And, and from a military standpoint, because David ultimately became a, a serious military guy, right? Mm -hmm. It's a fortress. Mm -hmm. And, and, and it, it, it provided him a, a place of vision that gave him a chance to see, mm -hmm. see the battlefield. Mm -hmm. so, <coughs> so when he says God was my rock, he's talking about a whole lot of stuff, right? It's not just a word in a song that we sing to David. He's saying, look, man, uh, I see God in the rock because that's where my help came from. Yeah. I look where? To, 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 to the hills. hills. To the hills. Yeah. I mean, they're all sand dunes, but they don't cook. Called rock. <laughs> you look to the hills, you ain't seen no sand in the <laughs> rocks. So all the things that he used were a metaphor for that that God has done for him. Mm -hmm. But when you started talking about rocks, yes, rocks served different purposes back when, mm -hmm. uh, even to the point of going to caves okay. uh, in the rocks. That's right. Uh, which was protection, climbing up on the highest point. Okay. That's the tower that you can see yeah. uh, what's there. So he's looking for God mm -hmm. in the rocks. You got it. And God is immovable, and mm -hmm. so are the rocks. Beautiful. And as you pray, they are. That's right. Uh, that's right. Yeah. That's, that's good. You're absolutely right. He uses weapons, too. Yeah. yeah. I mean, and all throughout his story, uh, during this time when folks are chasing him, he's in those caves. Mm -hmm. right? <laughs> I remember Saul mm -hmm. walked right into his trap, right. what could have been a trap. So, so, so all of that kind of thing, that's what David see representing God. Uh, that, that whole situation of, of, of being contained and, and cared for by God through the uh, through the rock, metaphorically speaking, as you said, is it also gave him stability, right? Because mm -hmm. you, you know, rocky ground, you don't move. <laughs> <laughs> gave him stability in addition to the refuge. And, and also, uh, back in this time, rock represented a symbol of the king. Because king's supposed to be the Strongest in the land, right? And David was the greatest of all. <clears throat> Rock. What was David's hope? How, how important, talking about
about hope. How important to hope is it for you to remember the dark places that, in your life? How important is it for you to have hope by remembering the dark places that you were in your life? What do you think about that question? I mean, we, well, we went through a little you, bit that's of That's what gets you through it. Yeah, that's what so gets you through it. Yeah. Yeah. We don't give without up. that, you're, you're going in the spiral. You're going down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and you have to think about that. And there's that, some people in this room that's <laughs> had that face them right in their faces with somebody aiming at yeah, yeah. <laughs> something happened. That's right. That's right. And uh, there's... And you managed there's to a, get through? Well, there's, as, as the saying goes, you know, ain't no atheist in no, in no foxhole. <laughs> Get out there on the battlefield, and you better have something to hold on to. Yeah. And uh, the Lord is out there. <laughs> you, you, you first thing you look up in the morning, that's yeah, that's yes, that's, 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 that's you, Lord. Yeah. That's yeah. Okay, let's go. Yeah. And hope is intertwined with faith. Mm -hmm. You certainly have to have faith to have hope. All of that seems to be cyclical, where you cannot separate one from the other. Yeah. Because if you do, you will not see that promise that he provides for mm -hmm. you. That's well, right. it, that, that's a good point. I mean, right. because in, in my experience, I, I, I'm not sure about everybody else, but not, I, I think I am sure about everybody. You have to be able to tap into it dynamically. You can't, you, you know, mm -hmm. uh, okay. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> yeah. Like a, it's in the reserves. It's mm -hmm. right there. You go, oh, thank you, Lord, and mm -hmm. keep on going. Yeah. It's, it's got to be right there. It's, 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 it's a weapon. It's, mm -hmm. uh, that's what gets you through. That's right. If not, don't you try to control it yourself? And that's when you mess up. up. And that's when you really yourself. mess up. You really right. mess up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Be because I look at the opposite of hope, which is hopeless. Mm -hmm. Oh. And okay. if you're hope, <laughs> if you're hopeless, yeah. then it means you're not dependent upon God. Yeah. Amen. You're literally looking within mm -hmm. your yourself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. Uh, that's the word. And, I can take care of this. And we know. That when we depend upon ourselves, mm -hmm. oh, we have learned. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Let me put it that way. We have learned mm -hmm. that when we depend upon ourselves, it's chaos. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And chaos leads to hopelessness. Yeah. So at this point, I don't see that we have another choice <coughs> but to have the faith yeah. in the Almighty. That's because right. He's the only one that's going to pull us out of whatever situation. Yeah. And when I say pull us out, I have to look at it from the perspective that it doesn't mean that God's going to always mm -hmm. come and go like, take you away, mm -hmm. but he'll be there with you going through yeah. That's right. That's right. the, That's the right. situation. That's right. He's and, an and on-time He'll guy. always do the right yeah. thing. He's an on-time Whatever guy. it is. Be Whatever good. it is. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. And, and that's what Dave is kind of getting at, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. he, he's saying, it's good for you to remember the dark places. Mm -hmm. You know, because it... You learn the lesson in that, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and the lesson is not only just how to how to avoid it next time, but the lesson is all more importantly is that God got you through. Mm -hmm. That's right. Right. I heard this. I heard the song. Listen to the song this morning. If you did it before, we can do it. Do it again. Yeah. Amen. And if you did it for me, you can do it for you. Amen. Amen. That's right. And 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 think of the confidence it gives you each time you remember mm -hmm. what He brought you through. Amen. You know, because after you get through, no, after I get through water, uh, in in the mud, it's kind of like that Holy Spirit come by and say, Harvey, who do you belong to? Yeah. Uh, what can the Father do for you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, thanks, thanks. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. but it's based upon what he has done That's right. in the past. That's right. Uh, and you know that he can. Yes, indeed. Yeah. Indeed. Yeah. In fact, one commentator said, the greater the threat, the greater the mercy. Mm -hmm. That preach too, by the way. Yes, sir. The greater the threat, the greater the mercy. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. That's big, isn't it? Yeah. That's big. Makes sense. I, I was listening to uh, someone's testimony about the fact that that they were at one point unable to speak or move because of you know some accident and now they're up jumping around mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. that book I, I shared with you guys uh, what is it 90 minutes in heaven oh, oh yeah yeah, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah. 
That's another mm -hmm. indication of the greater the threat, <laughs> the greater the mercy. Amen. This this boy was dead. <laughs> Declared so. Right. Well, you know, I have had the personal experience of uh, observing a patient who literally was comatose. Mm -hmm. uh, they would he would have to be taken into the OR at times to uh, open up the tray. Open up the tray. Mm -hmm. uh, dude was 13 years old. Mm. Uh, I was in San Diego, and mm. the new neurosurgeons, et cetera, made a statement in the OR, said that if this, if this guy mm -hmm. would survive and be somewhat okay, it's only because of God. Ooh. Now, it wasn't because he was a Christian, mm -hmm. but he was having some sarcasm, and yeah. et cetera. Mm -hmm. I left San Diego and went to to Oakland. One morning, who comes into the department? This kid. Mm -hmm. He's back in school. Mm -hmm. he's, he's, doing, he's doing his thing. Yeah. And without Perhaps any so. uh, residual effect. And he was in a comatose almost a year. Mm -hmm. Wow. Uh, so it's like God can. Mm. Yeah, God, God will. will. God yeah. Can. yeah, that's that's a beautiful story. Yeah. Greater the threat, the greater the mercy. Greater, greater the mercy. Greater the mercy. Yeah. And clearly, David was under great threat. Right? Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, he, he had enemies everywhere. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, just 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 think of it. Not only did he have enemies within his camp, but the countries around around them were his enemies, right? Amen. And then, on top of that, members of his family were his enemies. He was, he was a Jew. I mean, his son was out to get him. Mm -hmm. So his predicament was pretty, pretty severe. And verses 4 through 6 talks about that, right? Yeah. Surrounded by overwhelming forces. We, there's, no, there's no question about that. In fact, what does he say? It, it, more like uh, David saw himself as, as a dead man walking. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't he? Yeah, he did. That's what he <laughs> Saw himself as a dead man walking. But he knew what to do, did he? Call the Lord. Call the Lord. Cried out for help. Calling. I mean, that, 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 there's, a, there's a place that you get to that you, there should be no concern about what's coming around the mountain. Just call out to the Lord. A, a, a sidebar. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I don't know where it was. Now, you guys probably helped me out. But there was a tornado within the past two weeks in one of the states. Uh, like I said, I forgot. Mm -hmm. This lady was yeah, married to a preacher man. All right? And they are being interviewed. They got under this table. He was in the church. He was in the church. Okay. Like on the desk. Okay, got under, right? Mm -hmm. And they were saved. Mm -hmm. But the uh, TV person asked, well, what did you do? Now, here's the preacher man standing by his wife. Now, I'm thinking the preacher man was going to say, well, I prayed. He says, my wife prayed. Mm. And said, well, what did she say? She says, I said, save me, Lord. Mm. Uh, so, you know, that's all you mm. need to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah. it was the wife. Mm. Yeah, 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 I hear you. <laughs> the boy fell no. down on the job. <laughs> he was in shock. He was in shock. He was in shock. He was in shock. He he was speechless. Let literally. me go there first. Oh, I did. But David cried out for help. Yes, he did. Right? Yeah. What was God's response? He got. He heard it. He heard it. He heard it. He heard it. Yes, I heard your voice. Yeah. I heard your voice. And 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 he didn't just uh, slip in to help him out, did he? No. 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 He rocked. He came in in a, in a big way. Yeah. So so. It, it kind of says that if the greater the threat, the greater the mercy. mercy. Yes. You know, the, uh, one, one of my commentators says that God had got tired of the long suffering. Mm -hmm. 
uh, which means dealing with all the enemies mm -hmm. of, of David. So therefore, starting in verse 7, he started to show himself. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's right. So, so here's another little quote. The, uh, the more wonderful God's appearance is hmm. in any deliverance, the greater the outcome. Mm. All right. Okay. He shows up and shows out. Shows up and shows out. Mm. Amen. <laughs> the more wonderful his appearance is, the greater the outcome. Because it, it, it doesn't just affect you. It affects a lot of other people who are looking saying, where everybody. in the world is it? Where is it? Everybody. Everybody. <laughs> everybody. <laughs> Any and everybody. I mean that's that's how how God works, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Amen. And and it isn't something that we ought to be ashamed of. Mm -hmm. Amen. Or, or, Amen. or because others don't understand it, we, we still need to proclaim it. Thank you. How did he appear to David's request? Mm -hmm. Now this is this is another opportunity of David showing how he's obligating himself to worship God, right? Remember the first one said, you're my rock. Mm -hmm. This time he showed up as a what? As a storm. Oh, storm. storm. Mm -hmm. Showed up as a storm. Not, not just any kind of storm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was a pretty bad storm for, yeah. for David's enemies, right? Mm -hmm. The word said he showed up with rain, mm -hmm. lightning. lightning. Earth, wind, 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 the thunder was to David, whenever he'd hear it, it, it became the voice of God for him. Remember, he's now seeing him in rocks, seeing him in all the weather. I mean, it, he's got a strategic way of being able to worship and praise the Lord. It, it, and it also demonstrated that uh, that the elements obey God, and it was specifically connected to David because it only destroyed who the enemy. his the enemy. enemies. <laughs> yes, bad guys. So, so you know, <laughs> folks are saying, "Well, wait a minute now. This is only happening to us. What's what's mm -hmm. what's going on here?" And, and David wasn't going around proclaiming it. He, he was praying for something to happen that made it clear that it wasn't from him. That it was all for God on his behalf. Because he wanted to make sure that you, you knew that, that God and I are one. I'm connected to him. I live my life for him. In chapter 17 it reminded us about the vindication that he desired. Mm -hmm. So he's getting this, he's, he's getting that vindication. Mm -hmm. yeah. so, it, so everybody know that he he he's righteous. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. And that was that was important to him, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Very important to him. Throughout all of our studies so far. David wanted it to be understood that I don't care what Saul's folks are saying about me. I'm a righteous man. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't believe what I say. So therefore, I'm not going to speak on my behalf. God is going to speak for me. Amen. And you will know my righteousness because I'm lining up and living according to God. Right? Amen. It's important to live how? Righteous. Properly. Righteous. <laughs> live properly. You know, especially if we are out here evangelizing. Amen. <laughs> I had to keep that before us. So. <laughs> and... Uh, and we know that throughout Scripture, God has manifested Himself in storms. 
I, my dear mother, God rest her soul, was scared to death of storm. I mean, she, she was, we were growing up. In Texas, you get a lot of tornadoes and all that kind of stuff. Right? Mm -hmm. Five steps from our back porch, she built a shelter. So that, you know, she'd gather up all her little chicklets, boy, when the clouds go dark on them. And we all go in that cellar because she was afraid of storm. Mm -hmm. David's clearly saying to us in his private moments that he embraces those kind of storms because it tells him that God is still in business. In, in control. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. This is a thought. Uh, yes, I said that about storms. We cut off everything. I mean, and, you know, back yeah, yeah. In Houston. All the power. Was it cut off. <laughs> Powers, <laughs> lights, gas. Right. <laughs> cut off everything. Uh, until it has to say, yeah. once the, no. Yeah. Now, you know, storm, we, listen, now we get mad when the, the cable goes out. Right, 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 right. Can't find the satellite. What's wrong? It can't find the satellite. Uh, well, it's the storm. Yeah, going on. Yeah. Turn it off. You don't have to have it on the first place. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. You have lights and gas. himself often in the form of storms. Right? Yes. I mean, the beginning of scripture, there was a pretty mighty storm, was it? With, with, with the flood. Can you think of any others? How about the, how about the sermon we had on Sunday? Which one? It's past Tuesday. Oh. <laughs> 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 what was the song? It's about Jonah. Jonah. Oh, Jonah. 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 J
mm-hmm. and the people said we thought we were going to die. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and then there was a, a shot from a satellite showing the Earth mm-hmm. from above. Did you see that? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But what it showed was lightning storms from above. Mm-hmm. It was a beautiful, beautiful mm-hmm. shot. Mm-hmm. Of course, it was moving. I mean, mm-hmm. the Earth was moving, spinning. But you and you saw it go, going around. It's, it's, I wish I could have saved it. Yeah. Because I, I haven't seen that angle. I haven't been in the house But uh, what, a, what, what, a, what a beautiful sight that was to see lightning but from them. It was, what was the satellite? The, uh, uh, the space station. Space station. Space station. Space station. Yeah. How, how far did it park? 25 miles up? I'm not sure. Yeah. It was up long Longer ways. Than that. <laughs> yeah. My goodness. Mm. He also showed. In all of this, his, his readiness to uh, to plead the cause of his people and deliver them. David is reflecting the fact that God is is a God who's ready to do that kind of thing. God also showed that he was concerned because he bowed down from heaven, and in this case. He, he didn't send angels down there, did he? He came down. He came down himself. And then he wrapped himself in darkness and commanded the light to shine through his servant David. One quote says, Comfort returns and the face of affairs are changed from gloominess for David and threatening to a more serene and pleasant time. That's what David is celebrating in this passage. Here. Remember we said early on, he's, he's, he's honoring and worshiping God. That's an important thing for all of us to do every day. Isn't it? Amen. Yes, sir. I mean, I, you know, think about just from yesterday to the day, <coughs> some of the things that are, that could have occurred. Amen. Mm-hmm. But for the grace of God. Mm-hmm. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Amen. Now, w- we just finished part one <laughs> of, of a three-part piece of, <laughs> on, on Psalm 18. Psalm 18. Great. We're gonna we're gonna try to cut early so we can get over to the prayer practice. Did I miss anything on on this section that somebody has in mind that we need to talk about? All minds clear. All minds clear. Lord.